everyone. Hope you're good and well. Well, today, Tracy, my wife, that's who the channel's named after. I'm just the husband who helps along. And uh, today, anyway, she normally works from home, but she's had to go into the office. I can't go to work because it's absolutely chucking it down outside. So, I thought, I've got the house to myself for a few hours, what to do? So I've brought the lawnmower in the living room. So like I say, I've got a few hours before the wife gets home. There'll be murders on. If this is still in the living room, it doesn't smell of pepper in here, by the way. <laughs> Just a little. But um, what I'm gonna do is I need to put some hexi coils into these where the bolts go on, but I'll explain a little bit later. But while I'm on, I'm gonna take the engine off, I'm gonna strip it down, and I think I am going to restore it, clean it up the best I can. Um, I went over my wife's mum and dad's to try this, cause they have a big flat lawn. I set it up best I could, and I thought, well, I'll give it a go, see how it goes. And do you know what, honestly, it's the best cut from a lawnmower I've ever had. I paid a lot of money for my main lawnmower, um, which I take to work every day. I've got two, a big and a little one. And uh, cost us a fortune, the big one. Not so much the little one, because I bought that second hand. But this here cost us £20. And honestly, what a job it did so i thought i'd try it out first to see if everything's okay and uh honestly i'll put some pictures and videos of it running in this video um and the job it left so saying what it's like and what it can do and it, they're not really that heavy compared to my big one i have to use ramps to get it in and out the van so i'm going to strip it all down and uh, restore it, not professionally, but put it back to the original colours and things. Why well, this is original, sorry, but uh, match the colours and spray it all up and get it nice. And uh, I will be using this at work and I'll keep my eyes open for another one very cheap, um, which will do for spares and repairs. But while I strip it down, I'm going to have a look at what the clutch and everything's like. So I thought I'd bring those guys along. So I've got my cupper. The ground's on the set there, you sleep. He's uh, sneakily watching. I've got a couple of tubs. Tracy keeps these. And uh, she doesn't know I'm pinching them for me, me tools. I've got them all over in the shed in the garden. Use them for bits and pieces. I've got some baby wipes, a socket set and some spanners. And I'll bring you along and show you what I do. So a little bit closer up. So this here, I put a, a plug in and unfortunately I've had to drill a little hole in there, put some wire in and bend that round to keep it in place. This one's threaded, the one underneath's threaded and there's also another one on the other side threaded. I bought some bolts like I mentioned in the video to try and slot them through and bolt them on but they wouldn't be wide enough. So when I've looked into it I am going to buy a heli coil kit to re-thread them um, but when I come to spray the engine I am going to fill these holes I've drilled in but what's happening is when you're pulling it over it's not so bad with this wire in but you can see the, the bottom covers come away from the lip a little bit and what sometimes happens when you pull it if it comes too far over this little lip here is millimetres wide if this cover slips off, it hits the, I think it's the flywheel and it jams. It jams on the flywheel and all of this is twisted. So I don't want to carry on using it with the potential risk of that coming off and damaging the flywheel and whatever else it might damage. So I'll get cracked and I'll take these off and I'll get this cover off.
So that's the pull cord off. These nuts, in case I lose them, I'm gonna put back on there where they go. Just so I know where they go and um, I don't lose them. What I don't want to do is put all the screws and nuts into the tub and have to guess where they go because some nuts you take out, the different lengths and I suppose once they're out and you've got them mixed up and you can't remember, you could end up threading something or damaging something. So where it's possible, I'll put them back on like that. Whoops, not good, then there, then with the little pliers, let's see if I can get that off. I've just had to open the window, it's getting quite strong in here with petrol. I don't want to take the carburetor off because I'll be putting this back in the shed. I don't want damp or anything like that to get into it. So, that there now, no, there's a one still fastened at the bottom. And I've got to take the engine off because I can't helicoil the ones underneath which are threaded. So I'll have to have the engine off. So first bolt into there. Take this off. There's that nut. And I don't know if you can see the metal filings in the bottom of where it's caught it or it's been catching. So that's not a good thing. So I've just give the cover a clean around and dried it off. Leave it there to dry. Found these nuts for the top. So like I say, I'll just put them on where they're going to go, just roughly. But the nuts where I'm going to have to heli helicoil, um, I'm going to buy some new bolts for them instead of trying to put the old ones back in. And I'll also put the spark plug back in. Like I say, just in case any dirt or damp gets into the cylinder, which you don't want. I'll just gently nip it on. So I'm now going to remove the cover for where the clutch is. Being careful not to lose them because they want to shoot away. That metal's compressed. And I'm not a mechanic by any means guys or a professional at this. But I do have like a very basic 
knowledge of engines, especially old engines. Whereas the modern ones, I don't dare touch. So, in here is the clutch. And like I say, I'm going to put them screws back in where they came from. So I'm guessing it's just that to loosen. And I'm not sure when this is unbolted the engine if that just slides out. I'll give it a go. I'll keep that um nipped up a little bit because I think that'll just come out with it and that can take it off when it's out. Looks like it's been loosened or whatever before because the paint's removed. So now I'll get the right socket for this engine and I'll come back. Seems very easy to come out. I don't know if this is bolted in for something underneath, like a nut, or I don't know if they just go straight into the body. No. That one was there. And these, for some reason, the other side is a different size. So this one here is a 13 and this side is a 14 don't know why that is see if this one's all right coming off This engine off is I'll just put it straight out in the shed because it is getting strong in here now with the fumes the windows is open if you can hear cars going past so I'll keep that there that one there I don't know if it's the same on the other side This one, seems to be only the front one, one of the front ones that's a 13 and the others is a 14, I don't know why that is. Um, Try and put the bigger extension on for that. So 
So I'll get this off. I will have to disconnect the cables for the clutch. And when I've gotten past that, I'll come back. So I've taken the cable off. I've wrote on what it is, because there's a spring in there I can lose. So I've put that in a sealed bag, fastened. So I can't lose anything. And uh, I know what it is. So the moment of truth, truth, it's unbolted, cables off, and this should just slide out. I'm hoping. Yeah. And there's the clutch plate or pads. Doesn't seem too bad, but this side is worn. It's not far off the copper pin. So I might have to look into, while it's all stripped down, trying to get another one. And I was watching a restoration of one of these and um, he said he, he struggled to find them. You would have to put the pads on yourself. But he come across some new old stock. So original ones. And I forget now how much he'd said. But I'll have a look. And uh, I'll let you know. So that there. Will probably just come off. But them pins. That one doesn't look too clever. That's better there. That was pushed out. Same as that one. So I'm going to get this out and get it into the shed. Because um, it is getting bad now with the smell of petrol. Like I say, the window's open. But <laughs> the wife will go mad when she gets back. So I'll get this in the shed. Then we'll have a look at this, the body of it. So that's the engine in the shed, out the road, hopefully the smell goes soon of petrol. <laughs> the uh, shed, I've just been getting a shed, if you'd seen it on one of the videos, but it needs all sorting out and setting up. It's not the biggest, I maybe be able to do a, put a little workbench in there. But it will be ideal. But like I see, it's not set up yet, so I'm just messing on in here. The good thing about this is there's no holes in the body. Bit of rust and things, but that can be sorted out. Don't know what that is. Piece of metal or something. I'll put that in the tub just in case. So next, I think the handlebars will have to come off. Then we'll come back and have a look at the chain and the clutching things. So what I'll do is I'm gonna, I'm seeing I move the handlebars. I'll take these screws off first and they might just come round there where they are. We'll have a look first. If not, then uh, we'll have to take the handlebars off. These are quite big screw heads, so I don't know whether the flat one might be better. Don't want to thread them. I've got a bigger one in here. No, I'll go and get one. Just shows the flat headed one. Got to push it right in hard to get them to come away. Put them tools loosened off. There. 
them are a smaller one so that's all right Sorry about the camera work. So I'm getting the screws out. Quite hard. The big ones. Don't think they've ever been off. So I'll get these off, there's two at the back, then we'll reveal what's underneath here in the next stage. Look at that. Never been off before. Put her there, I think. Yeah one side anywhere the handlebars is going to have to come off but i'm going to take them off anyway so i might as well take them off before i unbolt them so without taking the cable off i've just loosened this nut and pushed it through from the handle and i believe it'll come off so that's that off and we'll have a look I wonder how old that is. Be a good age. So I'm going to take these outside, clean them, these panels, then uh, put them in the shed. Then I'll come back in and have a look at this. Remove the clutch cable. So that's all stripped down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to have a YouTube of this and have a good look, cause I'm not really sure where I go from here. But uh, what I'll do is I'll do a part two to this video. So if you've enjoyed it, please watch out for the next one, part two, possibly a part three and four, cause I'll go through all the stages of spraying it and things and uh, reassembling it so thanks very much for coming along please hit the like and subscribe button and drop us a comment what you think like i say 20 pound i paid for this so it's a uh, it's not really a heartbreak if it's not perfect or anything like that but the job it did on the lawn um after its first try i couldn't believe it i really couldn't believe how nice of a cut it did and uh, that's why I'm prepared to pour a little bit money into it and tidy it all up because I will use this at work. So I look forward to seeing you again. Till then, see you later.